I'm Falcon from the HRP core team. Uh, we're now going to have a look at the chase and what it can do. It has the ability to run existing content types in competition mode and also even run existing content in competition mode. So we see the chase on top here in my uh, content type browser has this little icon that uh, indicates that this content type is able to run in, in live engagement or multiplayer mode. So let's have a look at it and we'll uh, be creating a the chase today that we call the berry chase. And instead of building, uh, it supports lots of existing content types and I could go for, for one of them and then I could be creating content from scratch. Uh, but instead of doing that, let's, uh, let's use content I already have on my own HRP instance and, uh, and uh, just uh, run existing content in competition mode. So let's start with image hotspot, copy it. And I paste it into the chase here. So you see now the chase is populated with a page with, with this image hotspot. And I'll add another page. And on this page, we'll add a multiple choice copy the multiple choice and we paste it into the chase here add another page and now we go drag and drop copy the drag and drop paste it in and we have a nice looking drag and drop on page three there the next one will be a drag the words so copy that paste it into the chase I will be doing the same with a few more content types. So here we have uh, fill in the blanks. The chase supports uh, many, many of the classical and most popular H4P content types. Mark the words, paste it in here. And finally, we also add a simple true false question at the end pasting the true false there. Now we've built uh, uh, the chase with quite a few pages already using existing content types. Here we can go uh, change music. Do we want it? Do we not want it? And there is also a quite large selection of, of uh, different themes for the chase that we can choose between. So let's save and let's see what we have built. So here is the chase. I don't want to, uh, I, I just want to test it. So I can go in preview mode and test it side by side. And here's the preview mode. Uh, to the left is the presenter view. So this is what uh, would show up on the big screen in the classroom or on the, um, if, if you shared your screen through uh, Teams or, or uh, um, Google Meet or Zoom. Uh, this is typically what uh, everyone would be seeing. And to the right is what the students are seeing, what the learners are seeing. And we also have music. So I'll turn it on for a while here while we set up our character. cool gaming music there and I set up myself as Falcon and picked an avatar and now I enter the game and we see on the presenter view that now the presenter knows that there is a student ready for for starting the game and uh, yeah turn the music back on and uh, we'll uh, we'll have a look at the game experience so I'll, I'll soon be starting the game and going through it as a student with music on
So now we've gone through the questions and we, we uh, recognize the content types. Uh, it's the good old content types, just uh, run in a more uh, engaging and competitive way. And we see to the left there if we had lots of students, they would all be listed and we would be able to see who, who were leading in terms of completing the most questions or, or having the highest score. I'll now be finishing the chase so that we get to see uh, how, how it looks when, when the students are done. I'll turn on music again. how the, the winners are, are, are celebrated at the end of the chase and how we can build a chase based on uh, content we already have. I hope, you, uh, hope you'll uh, take the time to try out the chase for yourself. And when you do, I want you to, to be, uh, be aware of one, one important thing. Uh, so so uh, when, when you want to publish it for your students, it's important that you that you uh, choose to go go into publish and make it public. If you're not putting it into your LMS, it works very well from within Canvas or Brightspace or Blackboard as well. But uh, if you just want them to join, make it public, save. And then you get this uh, short code. So students can go with their phones into go.hvp.com, type in these uh, numbers on their phone, and they'll be, be joining your game that way. That's the simplest way to, to have them join the game. OK, hope you enjoyed uh, the chase. And uh, let us know what you think about it.